Now, the boys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here, and welcome back to another episode of the RTG here with Salford City. And we are going to start flying through the season. We're top of the table at the moment. There's a 10 point gap between ourselves and Charlton. We're going to play Charlton as the first game in this episode. Now, if we beat Charlton, the gap is going to be that great that I think we're going to start fast-tracking the rest of this season. I think that makes the most sense to try and get into the next season and start building for the championship. So we're going to play the Charlton game, we're going to play the Derby game, and then we're just going to see where we lie. And we might try and fast-track this. If I'm being 100% honest, if I can get this season done in this episode and then the next one... I'm going to try and do that because we're at a stage now in League One where to keep things exciting and entertaining, if we're that far ahead in the league, it's not that fun for you guys to just sit here and watch me stay that far ahead in the league. We might as well try and get to the new season, which I'm really excited about. Now, if you didn't see the last episode, there was a lot of drama and some draws, which was frustrating. There's been a title update and we're trying to figure out why goalkeepers are just Superman all of a sudden. If you've been playing on the new update, let me know how you're finding it. But it's been an absolute nightmare that goalkeepers now, they just save absolutely everything. I should say the AI's goalkeepers save absolutely everything. Not my goalkeeper. Now, if you are new around here and you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's get into this Charlton game. See if we could do some damage. See if we could pick up a victory. My first victory of the day playing FIFA. You'll have noticed that I'm recording these back to back. So if you left any feedback, I haven't seen it yet. Still yet to score a free kick, though. That needs to be noted highly. Yorkie is still free kickless. Although the curse of penalties is going pretty well for me. I've done decent with the penalties recently. I certainly don't need another penalty shootout, though, in this episode. So if that's what's going to happen in the derby game, let's all pray that that's not going to be the case. We have the best home record in the league at the moment, which isn't a surprise. We're top of the table, but Charlton are a real threat. This is one of the more difficult teams we're going to play. I'm actually quite surprised not to see Hull doing a little bit better than they have done. I thought when I saw them being relegated, they were going to be a real difficult testing this league, but they've not really managed to put it together, whereas Charlton are having a good season. They will be a little bit devastated if they have to try and go up through the playoffs, which every team always is. But we look dead set now for automatic promotion here, second season in League One. I think we're good for the automatic promotion as well. We have had talks recently in the comments that... We're in a bit of an awkward position with the team. Some players are good enough for the championship. There's no doubt in that. But then some players certainly aren't good enough for the championship. Oh, Kelly's kind of turned it into a good position there for Washington. Some players aren't going to be good enough for the championship. And that is the ultimate worry, I guess, at this stage, is making sure we have enough players that are going to be good enough to play in the championship. That's good from Lado, actually. Get that one into Timmy. I wanted to play it over the top to Elliot List, but I was just a bit nervous that I couldn't really get the ball in. Timmy Abraham's ball there isn't going to make it, but I am going to end up with the ball back, and I'm going to find Kelly, who scored a few goals recently and will test the goalkeeper early on. I have to do something a lot more special to beat the goalkeeper, though, because he saves absolutely everything. The moment that we get a two-goal lead is going to be a very, very good moment for me. Kelly now in a decent position again. What can he do? He's gone up another rating, which is exciting for me to see. Timmy, that's a good ball. Marvin's actually found some space. He's going to land to Lado, surely. What, yeah, what? What? Excuse me? Why didn't he shoot there? And then I didn't even realise he still had the football. That was a bit of a shambles. We are going to end up back on it. Get that into Kelly. Marvin now. Got a bit of room to run. They just don't let him run too far, though. Amos. Again, we're being squeezed tight. Elliot List now. Good shooting up. Opportunity for Elliot List. Oh my god. He's really been turning it on recently. I, I, what a hit. I, honestly, a little bit speechless, which is rare for me. But what a finish that was. I don't think they come much better than this. Got to be honest with you. Do not think they come much better than this. We were struggling to break them down. He's caught that with so much power. And that's his 18 for the season. So another really good season. Of course, different tasks for him next year in the championship. Who knows how he's going to get on. But I've just got a lot of faith in him. I don't have any worries about his performance at championship level. I think he'll be absolutely fine. In fact, I think our strike force will do fine. There might be questions on Timmy. But when you look at his goal contributions this year, there shouldn't really be any questions on Timmy as he loses out there. Because... He's the top assister in the league. I really don't think we should be worrying about him. Charlton look really shaky here compared to some of the teams we played against. Not really not at ease at all. That's a very hard ball for Elliot List to take under his spell. 
Kelly. Pops that one to Ladau. Amos now. Get that back to Ladau. Ladau then. In. To Timmy Abraham. Oh, what a save. Melton have not settled in this game. That is, I mean, that was pretty decent, wasn't it? Elliot List then to Timmy. Takes. Oh, my God. What is that save? Just come on, man. What an unbelievable save. Great ball in. He waits for it to land perfectly. It wasn't the greatest of shots, but come on. I sense a very difficult episode when it comes to beating the goalkeeper, Elliot List. Never mind, Elliot List makes it 2-0 Salford. I mean, it's a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit of a shambles at the back. I don't know what the player's doing on the post there. He had zero reaction. Do we care? We do not. We take the lead, well, by two now. Two goal deficits are where we feel more comfortable. I'm telling you now, we needed this cushion. We really did. What a goal. Goalkeeper's had a bit of a mare, but the lad on the line, what's he doing? That's gone down as an own goal as well. Feel a little bit sorry for him because the goalkeeper's kind of palmed it into him. I don't know what was expected of him. It's on target. It's going in anyway. Just give Elliot List the goal. I don't know why they've given that as an own goal. I feel a little bit sorry for the centre-back. Although he should have reacted a little bit better. The goalkeeper should have had a little bit stronger wrists and dealt with it a little bit better. Dalton coming back a little bit now with some fire in their bellies. Hopefully, we can avoid anything from that corner. Hunter gets it away. Didn't get it away far. Washington's shot will be blocked. They're going to get a second opportunity to put it in. That's great. Oh, there wasn't really much I could do about that. Charlton make it 2-1. Always dangerous when putting the ball in. The first block is fantastic. And then uh, it's a great touch. And unfortunately, it swapped me to the player in behind him and... I mean, Kelly was never going to do anything from that position. Charlton right back in the game. And a little bit of life in them now. And then Elliot List. I spotted you, mate. Elliot List! Oh, it was hard for him. It was really hard. Goalkeeper again. Good position. Good save. Half-time whistle goes. And Charlton is still in this one. They're still very much in this match. We're going to need a little bit more from the boys if we're going to stay in the lead here. I think we need the cushion again. I think we need a third. This stage of the season, a victory here against Charlton. Really the team that are going to threaten us. Would pretty much seal promotion it would go a long way to sealing promotion anyway it would take horrendous end of season form which touch wood is not going to happen so i feel like it's all important here to try and get this victory if we can do this is good play washington up against doyle there amos trying to cut that one out he won't let me swap oh my god we get lucky i'm telling you now when you read the title update when you log on to fifa and you read the title update and it tells you player swaps are better they're not. They are still an absolute shambles. But I guess you've just got to take it in your stride, aren't you? We could complain about it all day long. But at the end of the day, they are what they are. We can't change that now. This is a really good opportunity. Been gifted to them. And we're going to get away with that lightly. We need to focus here on where we're passing the football. They are only a goal behind. And a point would be far better for them than a defeat. But we're going to get the football back here. And again, I just don't feel comfortable trying to bring it forward in that situation. We've... Struggled here with trying to huff and puff our way forward. And it's not working at the moment. I thought I'd found that ball through. It's really not working. Cutting edge. There hasn't been any this second half. The two goals, obviously. And a bright early start from us. But ever since that, it's gone pretty dead, to be honest with you. Timmy's done brilliantly well there. Lado now will ping that one in behind to Marvin. Who's going to try and whip it back. Oh, it's a good ball back, Kelly. Oh, God, that would have been a beautiful goal. Before this corner, we're going to have a double sub. We're going to bring on Telford. We're going to bring on McNeil. List and Lado will go off. And we're going to just see if we can get anything out of this. That was a horrendous corner. Amos picks that up. He's done well to get it into McNeil now. What can McNeil do in this position? I don't really have the options, do I? Well in, McNeil. That's a really good turn. And then he's going to poke that one up to me, Abraham. Oh, my God. Imagine that goes in. What McNeil did brilliantly there. I just felt like maybe he could have got a little bit more on it, Timmy. But, I mean, he's not world class, is he? But still, to be in a good position, to have drifted in that good position, should be mentioned. Oh, this is lovely. That's lovely, Dom Telford. What a save from the goalkeeper. When are we getting the next update? Can we have a little bit less from the goalkeepers, please? EA, just, just a touch less. That You know, they're not... I don't mind the goalkeeper being decent, but oh my God. I'm going to use that run. Oh, that's brilliant. Hunter now, what can he do? Oh, that would have been fantastic. Great save. Near post was always going to be hard. Kelly's great footwork there. We'll find McNeil, who finds Dom Telford, who can turn with it, and he's turned brilliantly. Dom Telford! What a goal! 
What a goal from Dom Telford. He's going to be 3-1 Salford City. The game's done a dusted. And I'm telling you, always try and break away and score in that situation. He really has had a much more uplifting season this year than last year. He, he just has. And it's so good to see because we were super excited to sign him. One of my favourite signings at the start of League One. Really excited to sign him and see the feedback after we'd signed him. And he just couldn't find his feet. But he seems to be doing a really good job now. He's a rotation player. He's a team player. And he gets the job done. And he comes on and scores important goals. And that's an important victory. A really, really important victory there. Because it gives us a 13-point gap between us and Charlton. And we can relax a little bit now in terms of getting promoted. Can't relax in terms of the cup, though. Derby coming up next in a semi-final. Hopefully, we can beat them and go through. This is the start at 11 for the Derby game. No penalties, please. Telford starts because he is the top goal scorer in this competition. He deserves to get the start. Lado, Kelly and Tribal will be the midfield. Marvin on the right, Hunter on the left, and Mark is back for the first time in the heart of defence. We are at home for this one, but Derby will have the kickoff. I'm kind of excited because the idea of a cup final with this Salford team and getting to lift the trophy with this Salford team is... It's huge. I'm hoping we get the league trophy lift if we win it because we didn't get it in League One. And I don't know when you're supposed to get it, but we didn't get it in League One. And it was absolutely devastating as Kelly's overrun the ball there. It was devastating not to get it. So I'm hoping we do. Now, Mark is going to be a little bit sluggish, which is worrying. He might be a little bit off the pace in this match, which again is worrying considering, well, we want to win. We want to go through to the final. Into that one there into Lado. And again, you could just see this is how teams set up against us. They're probably not going to do this to us in the championship, at least not early doors. But look at how deep they just set. It becomes near impossible until you can get a ball in like that to Ricky J. Jones, who just tries to pull the defenders out a little bit. But again, look, I could just do this all day long and just pass around. And I'd never, ever break through. That is good, though. That is good. Marvin then into Ricky J. Jones. I tried to find a way to get the ball across. They had so many bodies around Ricky J. Jones. It was unreal. Lado's won the football back here. Oh, that's great play. He's found Dom Telford. Dom Telford now showing in the last game how quick he can be. Dom Telford then. Oh, tried to just pull it back. Just in any capacity, get the ball back. We should remember, it's the next championship team is Derby. And although they haven't been good, they can be good. Oh, my God. What a goal that would have been for Ricky J. Jones. Again, I think in that situation, I should be trying to control it. He's offside anyway. Oh, this is good play. That's really good play to Lawrence. And that's really good defending by Moore. That is really what you would expect from him as well, to be fair. Lado now has found Kelly. Kelly tries to ping that one over the top. He's done fantastic there to find Ricky J. Jones, who will pull it back to Lado. Oh, what a block that was. I thought that was 1-0. Darby are piling forward here. Marky Boy does brilliant. Get to that, get to that more. Oh, he does in the end. That was super close. This has gotten a little bit back and forth now, to be honest with you. We need it to go that way. Dave, that's a big foul there. That's a really big foul. Ricky J. Jones. Marvin's going to be in behind. Marvin now. It's going to be a good ball to Dom Telford. Just couldn't get his feet on it. Couldn't get a really well-whipped ball in. That's so disappointing. So, so disappointing. Marvin then into Ricky J. Jones. He wants to go in behind to Dom Telford. He's found him. Dom Telford's ball back across now. Kelly! Oh, wow. He got no power on it. Tribal's going to get that one to Ogilvy. Ogilvy then back to Tribal. Tribal then into Ricky J. Jones. Ricky J. Jones on the turn. Ricky J. Jones still on the turn. And I was going to say, we saw Elliot List do something magic from that position. Ricky J. Jones trying to do the same. Dominant first half, but without a goal. And that does us no favours. Although we are... Pretty decent at penalties by the look of things. But that does do me no favours. We need to step it up a notch in this second half. And just bag the goal. That's all we need to do. Easier said than done, right? But just bag the goal. Lado passing like that isn't going to do me any favours, though. This is good play. Oh, this is really good play. This might be 1-0. What a save by King. All stems from Lado losing the ball. And I can't be too mad. He's had a good season. Over the bar. Pfft, that was close. They're just passing their way through me here at the moment. McDonald now. Get to that. Somebody. Anybody. This is really bad. Get in. Oh, my God. Oh, he gets super lucky. Super, super lucky there. Oh, that's good play. That's good play. Lawrence will score. And they deserve it, to be honest with you. Second half, they've been the better team. Tore me apart in patches here. And I think we've just rushed stuff. I'm going to make a double sub. Dom Telford will come off. Elliot List will come on. Marvin will come off. Bolton will come on. And I like Marvin, but he's just run out of steam in this game. And I'm getting a little bit disappointed here with this performance, if I'm being honest with you. 
Really, the boys have just not showed up enough here. A few too many misplaced passes. Not enough chances created, I would say. And again, we've made it so easy for Derby just to sit deep like they are here. Just, do you know what I mean? Just let them sit deep. Holland's done brilliantly. Oh, he hasn't. His second touch was awful. We do have a corner. We need a goal. Mark is in there. And he's not going to win it. Ricky J. Jones will win that? No, he won't. How are we not winning that second ball? We were in the better position. Somebody get to that. Luckily, handball. No. I, it's all going against us at the minute in this map. Poor again. It's poor. He's sloppy. We're forcing the football. And it's not working for us. And then it's leaving us out of position as Derby here very much might make this two. Oh, it's an own goal. It's an own goal. There we go. 2-0 Derby City. An own goal from Salford. And a calamity of a performance. More with the own goal. And that couldn't have been worse timing. But every time they've come forward this second half, it's felt like they were going to undo us. And again, it's led from a poor pass forward from Ashley Hunter. And it's not been Ashley Hunter all game. It's been mixed. Everyone's played bad passes forward. It just happened to be him there. And we've conceded from it. And just really bitterly disappointing. I would say fair play to Derby for their defending. And they're going to get themselves in a final here, even though they've had a poor season. Obviously, the main thing for us is promotion. Elliot List, I oh, saved. The main thing for us is promotion, and that looks like we're dead set to do that. But it's just frustrating that we won't have a cup final, I guess. Again, I must admit, Derby have kind of felt like Luton did. Not as much, but they felt like a better team than what we've been playing. And that may be due to the fact that they've got some better rated players. There goes the final whistle. Disappointing day for Salford, even at home as well. And I am bitterly disappointed with the boys as well and the performance we saw. It wasn't good enough, but we will now focus on the championship, which is the most important thing, is getting promotion this season. Just could not piece anything together in that match, though. Really could not. You can see there are only five shots, only three for Derby, and they scored two. But we already know you can't give the opposition anything in this game or they will punish you and they deserve to win really on on the second half they were just miles better than me we're gonna have 13th place late in orient here we're gonna quick sim this one hopefully fingers crossed get a decent result we do it's a 3-1 victory mcneil elliot list and amos with the goals time for 17th place cheltenham next they gave us a really good game in the papa john's trophy we're gonna sim this one again hopefully get a decent result it's a strong lineup for us and we do win it 4-2 wow that's crazy in the sim mcneil again bagging two goals this time round. Marvin and Elliot List with the others. Up next is 23rd place, Doncaster. We're missing a few players. Again, international. So Amos comes in in net. And hopefully he just has a good time here against Doncaster. They're 23rd in the league. We should be winning this game. I kind of expect us to win this game, and we do. There's a 3-0 victory. Brannigan with his first goal for the club. Hunter and List again with the goals. As you can see them in the league at the moment, we are very, very comfortable. Next up, this game against Cardiff. They're currently sat 14th in the league. Still King is away, so Amos will be in net again. Hopefully, no damage is done. It's a 1-1 draw. Brannigan... Back-to-back -back games, back-to-back -back goals. Good news for us, though. Harry Banks is on his way back from injury. A really horrendous seven-month injury. Injured very early on this season. We might get him for maybe one or two of the last games, and we'll give him an opportunity in the team. Next is 11th place, Wickham. And we're going to play this one as the final game of this episode. This will be starting 11, then. We're going to go with Timmy up top next to Elliot List and McNeil in behind them. Bolton and Burr on the wings. Amos and Brannigan is playing again because... I mean, he's just scored two goals in back-to-back -back games. Hopefully, he can do the same again here for us. There's one side I expect us to pick up a win against. It's probably Wickham in this episode, if I'm being 100% honest. Like, the Charlton game was great. You just need to see a little bit more from the boys in this one. A little bit of a better performance. I'm also starting to feel like I, I get mixed feelings on my wingers. Like sometimes I think they're too wide or they're not making runs enough but then obviously at the same time we need them to get back or else i'm in trouble that's great play into mcneil oh, that would have been another goal for him he's been on a bit of a goal glut at the moment and i find elliot list he's found elliot list good turn good shot oh what a save by stockdale right signs here really but again if we're not making these opportunities count you never know what's gonna happen elliot list just pinging that one why what a good episode didn't he elliot list more of that from him hopefully as the future rolls on run again now into amos and Elliot List, that's a great turn, Elliot List! Oh my god, he's just beyond the post. Elliot List has come close now a few times, but one of these has to go in. We need to make sure we're bagging one of these. Right start to the football match, though, and we keep winning that long ball back, which is just showing me that maybe we've got the physical side of this game in the bag. That the three centre-backs might have a field day with those balls over the top, which is good news for me. 
That one into Bolton. Stops it there. Back across to Brannigan. And then Amos with the shot. It's going to ping up. We're not going to win that header. Stockdale's always going to be favourite to that. Again, we win the second ball. Timmy now. Oh, it's a nice idea. Wasn't actually a good ball. Was a good idea. Timmy Abraham's probably biggest downfall is his passing ability is not very good. It just really isn't. His technical ability isn't particularly good, but physicality is great and hold-up play is good. So it's kind of the, the positives outweigh the negatives, if that makes any sense. We kind of have to go with him because of his positives. Running in there, Sfan McNeil. Neil will ping that one into Timmy. That was a really good touch by Timmy. Timmy's still got it. Not comfortably got it, but he's still got it. Elliot List! Oh! That was unlucky. Again, so many bodies back there closing us down, making life near impossible to break them down. But that's a little bit better. That felt a little bit closer in terms of breaking through that line. They got us to halftime whistle. Nil-nil. Really? Poor game. We had the great open into it with Elliot List having a few opportunities. Since that point, it's just been us passing it around, trying to break them down, not succeeding. And then Wickham trying to counter. If they come out differently in the second half, that's usually the case when you're in a... A nil-nil, I find, is that the opposition will come out much more astute the second half. Try and break you down. Well, that's good, though. That is good, Brannigan! Oh, my... What a save from Stockdale! Thought Brannigan was in. I was wrong. I don't know how he saved that. That was an unbelievable save, to be fair. But now we'll pick that one up. Elliot List will pick that one up. And I've gone into Brannigan, into a position where Brannigan can't really do anything. That's a good ball, though, to Burt. Into Elliot List! And... Now we're going to beat Stockdale with that. I've done really well here with Wickham. And this would be typical for me. This would be absolutely typical for me. Moore did pretty well. He got away with that. That would have been typical of this game. I think that's their first shot. Not that we've actually had loads of shots in this one, to be fair. We haven't been particularly good. Jimmy Abraham doing really well there. Good footwork. And this is going to be a huge opportunity here for Bolton. He needs to pull it back and doesn't pull it back very well. And he's absolutely knackered. So that's probably why. It's really good play. Back into Jones. Then into Elliot List. And there we go. That's the moment we needed. We finally broke and wick him down. It's been extremely difficult. But if it was going to be any man, it was going to be that man, Elliot List. Ricky J. Jones, though. Fair play to him. He's come on. That was a really good assist. We needed that. We really needed that. Elliot List is on fire again as well, which is good to see. Lift the spirits a little bit with this result. If we can get a win. There's still plenty of time left, and I would say that they've been miles better this second half. Well, in Ogilvy. I doubt we'll tip that one in. Ricky J. Jones! Oh, I thought I did the right thing. The right thing there would have been to play it to Elliot List again. Well, have we just opened up the opportunity for Wickham? We might have just done that, to be honest with you. Bradford heartbreak in the last match. Well, in the last episode, I should say. Are we leaving ourselves wide open for another moment like that? Not with those kind of tackles. We might just get away with this. Heartbreak avoided. 1-0 the victory. A slender one, I guess you could say. I mean, we were dominant. Again, we were absolutely dominant. I don't feel like it was a slender one. I don't know if teams kind of realize how good you are, so they just defend against you. But pretty much every team, aside from Luton has just defended against me and made it very difficult to break them down. As you can see, 12 shots there. They weren't all very good shots, if we're being honest, and only two for Wickham. But that has kind of been the way, as this season's gone on, the teams have just started playing against me. They just sit super deep with their three at the back, which ends up being a five at the back. I can't, you know, I struggle to break them down, and that's how the matches go, but... We are super close now to winning the league. Hopefully, in the next episode, we will achieve that. We will probably play the Sunderland game, maybe the Rochdale game, maybe the whole game. We'll, in fact, we'll definitely play the whole game because it's final game of the season and it's at home. But we're probably not going to play three games, actually, when I think about it, because we will have the end of season roundup. We'll see what budget we're going to have for the championship. So make sure you do not miss that episode. That's going to be a big one. You guys can get your feedback in, of course, then players that we should be signing, you know, to be competitive in the championship i don't expect us to get promoted first season in the championship but you never know what's going to happen if all the championship teams play like luton i'm in a lot of trouble that's going to be it for this one boys i appreciate each and every one of you thank you very much for the support make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the like button as well and i will see you in the next episode